In today's episode of The Tenant, I'm in Mumbai. In Mumbai, I'm in Malad East. Our tenant today is a young couple that moved from Pune to Mumbai. They not just live together, but even work together. How does that work like? Let's meet them. Hi, Pawan. Say hi, Vishal. Good to see you. Hi, Vishal. Nice to meet you. Okay, so this is it. Uh, how big is this apartment? So it's a uh, one BHK, slightly bigger because there's an attached washroom in the um, room as well, room as well, and the hall as well. It's around 400 square feet. Oh, ballpark. So and two of you are living here. Yeah, yes. that's okay. So I know lots of couples who stay together. <laughs> yeah. I don't know too many who stay together as well as work together. <laughs> yeah. So uh, how is that arrangement like? Does that impact how you all look at a home because you're spending a lot of time in office as well? Um, not really because uh, we don't really need an office. Once we are into the office doors, we are... We maintain the professional yeah. gap and it, only if we come across each other, we greet each other, else we are completely fine not meeting. So we maintain that only because we have to spend time at home as well. <laughs> okay. So yeah. So so, so basically since you know that you have to meet in the office, in office focus on the other... Yeah, yeah, we focus on yeah. our individual... Our respective work. teams, our respective yeah. set of friends there. Yeah, right. How, how easy is it like from a company perspective to recruit two people who work together? Uh, so, actually, uh, so actually I was working there and then I referred him and then he joined. So uh, the Shadi thing happened much later on. So when we uh, spoke to office, uh, they were completely okay. The only policy that uh, we need to look at is uh, if we are not in the same team or reporting under the same line. So it's easily acceptable. Bus Pawan should not be your boss or you should not be his boss. <laughs> yeah, That's exactly. Yeah. Or we should, should not have the same, same boss. Yeah, the same. we should not have the same boss. <laughs> okay, so tell me one thing. Coming over here to Mumbai, uh, you are from, both are from Pune. Right. Uh, why Mumbai? What is Mumbai ki khasiyat that brings you over here? Um, as people say in the movies, the sea is there. That's one thing. But apart from that also, there's there are a lot of opportunities. A lot of, uh, you know, Hustle and bustle in the city, that's something which keeps you like Going. moving. Yeah, nice. I like it more because I, I don't know, there's this different vibe to Mumbai that somehow I don't get that vibe in Pune. And uh, of course the sea, I love the sea. So on weekends you'll find me in Bandra and Juhu, uh, you know, around there. And uh, yeah, of course, uh, since we work in finance, we have a good opportunity in Mumbai for that. You do anything, kisi ko farak nahi hai. Um, Pune mein aise nahi hai. <laughs> uh, kind of judgment. <laughs> <laughs> we are in Malad. Yeah. Uh, easy to get an apartment, not easy to get an apartment. What we were looking at? Um, it's not so easy to get an apartment which ticks all your boxes because there's budget, there's furnished flats, um, an owner who is somewhat reasonable and manageable, and close to your workplace. Yeah, that's thing. the most important thing yeah, that we Because in a city for. like Mumbai, where locals and all, you have to eat and all. So, if it's close, you escape that part. So Already far from home, we, we have left our homes in Pune. Why stay away from office that much? We can save easily save our time of commute. So, your office is very close by from you? Yeah, yeah. we can see it. Slightly less than 4 kilometers. Slightly less than 4 kilometers. Yeah. And typically, how do you commute? So we go on Activa. We have a car and Activa both here. Hmm. But uh, for office, we prefer taking the Activa daily because in the car it would take double the time, I think. So car is there, but it's largely unused. Yada, uh, yada yeah. used on the weekends. Only on the weekends, if we have to travel far, we. Monday to Friday, you can say largely unused. Yeah. Right. Monday to Friday is Activa day. Yeah. Saturday, Sunday is. Car yeah. day, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you said what brought you to Malad? Yeah. Ye Location within Malad or your building? What is this? Um, apart from everything else, there's good connectivity also. Like uh, less than a kilometer to the railway station, less than a kilometer to Dindoshi Metro and the highway, and a uh, couple of malls also nearby. Oberoi is nearby, and uh, to the west, in Obit is also nearby. So we keep hitting the malls also on weekends sometimes. What is apartment in this apartment? Or what apartment in this Yeah, so. Uh, it takes all the boxes like it was within budget, within range, uh, close to office, not too far. 
um, good view. <laughs> yeah, the view is the most important. I have really been looking for an apartment with a great view so that I can sip a cup of tea or coffee whenever I want and I can just stand and look at it for how long I want. And you know that what, reminds what's, me. What's the charm with the view according to you? So, I don't know, I just find it peaceful and I feel happy that, you know, I live in such a house and it has always been there in my mind to live independently and in a good apartment. So, the shadi thing happened, yeah, but still I would like that independence to be mine where I'm just sipping the cup of tea anytime I want in my house. In my previous apartments, those were like on first or second floor. So, I had really done nothing else, just be in the room, go to office, come back to my room and, you know, Nothing else. This feels like home because you know I can do whatever I want. I can sit here, watch TV, watch my favorite shows. If I'm bored, I'll just make a cup of tea, stand there, and I can just you know stand and look at the view, and I'm happy. So, so little things. Views matter. Views matter. Yeah, I, it matters for me. And you know that reminds me of one great story when we were searching the apartments. So uh, we came across a broker whose selling point was that uh, flat mein slum view is very good. I didn't know that slum, slum view, view is a thing. I didn't know that slum view is a thing in Mumbai or it's a selling point. I didn't it's know. Not, it's not a selling it's point. Not. Like, okay. I'm glad. Okay. Till this day I never knew I started laughing so much when he said that and it actually had a slum view. So the a full slum view. Yeah, yeah. So the areas were like constructions going on nearby and there was the complete slum area. So that was the selling point. But of course that was cheaper in rent. So how much cheaper? Uh, so it was around 24,000 yeah, I 24, guess yeah. and yeah. it was unfurnished so like 40% discount you get for that view but I couldn't, I did not want that of course. Okay. So you yeah. want to be away from the ground but not looking at the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so basically you said 24,000 that one and this one is how much? The current rent? 34. 34,000. Yeah. yeah, so. Okay. okay, so what part of this apartment gets used the most? So this space, uh, so this particular spot, we both fight for this spot because when we sit here, the view outside is really, you know, easily viewable and the TV is also there. So this is like a Sheldon spot that we fight for <laughs> over here. So tell me this view, while it looks good with a lot of glossy buildings, isn't this like a barrier as such? Yeah, so actually this was not there before uh, we got it added because uh, the, again a funny incident uh, when we looked the apartment there was a family living here so it was completely fine but when we came here uh, the house was empty for 15 days so probably one of the windows uh, remained open and I, I saw like a rat in the washroom and I was really scared I did not want to move in but it was too <laughs> late because the agreement has been signed now but then they reassured that it's just because you know there are some open spaces in the house if you close them it will not happen so this was one which we noticed uh, even the pigeons come in sometimes okay so this part of the apartment done like you said sheldon spot yeah and, uh, and the view that of course she loves clearly i can see yeah. she, she comes to life talking about the view okay up ahead will be this is be the kitchen area yeah. yes so do you guys cook a lot uh, i saw a lot of junk food uh, uh, where I was standing now with a lot of packet of chips. So, you guys are uh, junkies? Yeah, we are big time junkies. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> uh, we do make food, uh, but mostly it's like breakfast at home. And then uh, lunch and dinner is sorted uh, in office because we get it at a subsidized rate and really subsidized rate. Like 25 rupees max is what you will spend one time. For what? So, 25 anything? rupees is a non veg meal or a chicken biryani. Yeah. And a veg biryani or a veg meal is 20 rupees. So basically, then the economics of food become very attractive by. Yeah, working we, and eating in office. Yeah, so uh, we spend about what uh, 50 rupees uh, the whole day. Uh, that comes to like 1000 in a mina. So uh, for for both of us, it will be 2000. So for it becomes cheaper than hiring a cook also because I have colleagues who spend about 5000 on a cook. So and then um, both of us are uh, like at least me. I am not. I really need good food. I become sad if I don't get good food. So, you know, I'll just eat quietly and not interact. But if I have good food, I'll be very, you know, happy. 
सो देन आई ऑलवेज वॉन्ट दी ऑप्शन के आई अगर मेरा मन चेंज हो गया कि मुझे क्या खाना है and the food is there i don't want that commitment ki mujhe khatam karna hai wo cheez you want the restaurant yeah i want the restaurant menu hona chahiye menu hona chahiye yeah. and office mein we get the menu also isliye we have uh, option of working from home to, uh, so like two days a week we can work from home but we choose to go to office so one reason is this and the other is like it becomes much easier to work since we have like bigger screens and dif- two different screens a good infrastructure basically yeah good infrastructure no, no network interruptions and all so plus whole day ac So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah all these things over here uh refrigerator every all of this has come with the apartment yeah, yeah yes the apartment has all the white goods i would say expect except for a microwave and a washing machine yeah ac is in both the hall and the room the tv was there we just got the geo uh, connection we were looking for a furnished apartment so that we have to bring the least stuff i can see you both are uh, soft drink uh, addicts <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> we like I'm to have the option. I'm trying to quit, but <laughs> soft drink plus a pizza. I could see the pizza ka yeah. uh, oregano. Yes. yes. Yeah. Every time we get it delivered, we obviously we don't use it all. So we stock it for later. <laughs> Future. So, and this will be your one of your two bathrooms. Yes. Yeah, the common one. Common one. Was there a requirement that you had that you were okay with the one BHK, but you wanted two bathrooms? I mean that the one bathroom as well. It was a good to have thing, not a necessary thing. I mean uh, yeah, since we are bo- uh, two of us, uh, sometimes we had to get ready simultaneously to leave for office. It's good to have two bathrooms. Yeah. But if you ask me while searching the apartment was this a criteria? I would say not that much. But you know I'm glad we got two washrooms <laughs> after staying I realized that we do need separate washrooms when we are getting ready especially if our timings are the same it's a mess. If yeah. it it would have been much messier if it was only one washroom. So yeah. Okay so first uh, washroom done the kitchen done this will be your grand master bedroom yeah yes. maybe not grand but yeah master bedroom this is a good sized respectable sized bedroom yeah uh, for people who have come from outside uh, mumbai yeah you both are from pune right yeah uh, is it easy to adjust, adjust to one bhk is that of this size So um, when his parents came, you can <laughs> tell what happened. <laughs> so not for me personally. I have a phobia of in uh, Pimpri, Pune. Uh, so when my parents also visited recently, and uh, they walked in and saw and said, "Bus." <laughs> so for them, that's when I also realized it's really quite small because I was really happy with the apartment. But that's when it hit me. Okay, for not for Pune people as yet. Yeah, and they asked that why. I mean. So I said कि यहाँ ऐसा ही होता है. So for that much rent, you get this much only. Yeah. So are there are there any positives of staying in such a small home? Um. क्या फिर क्या 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 छोटा घर भी एक strength हो सकता है. जैसे broker ने बोला ना full slum view. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think there's something like you know this is a really small apartment? So one strength, strength, what I'll tell you for me is that it's easier to maintain and it's you yeah. know yeah easier to maintain, not much to clean. It's easily done with family. Of course, it makes sense to have a bigger house. One of the fastest growing trends in Indian cities, as I'm noticing, is this culture of uh, uh, less children or no children. <laughs> Are you guys also among this fast growing segment of what people call dink, double income, no kids? Yeah, uh, me personally, uh, I want to be dink. I'm trying to convince her we are on that path, <laughs> but uh, she's not. I think she's halfway there yet, okay. not fully. What's the hang-up uh, for you guys in uh, building a family? I think, uh, I mean, the world has become such a crowded place, and uh, everything is costing so much that uh, until and unless you have good amount of wealth created and um, everything, I don't personally think it makes sense to have a kid in today's time. Everything with the kid and it. you will lose your freedom eventually you will not be able to travel freely and all those hindrances will also be caused apart from uh, so that is money. the point that he yeah, tells me a lot actually. that you will not be able to travel but you are completely hard line on that you are you are ensuring she gets to your yeah i am really trying hard believe <laughs> <laughs> okay so regarding this uh, bedroom you said hall use a lot this bedroom use mainly for sleeping yeah right for sleeping and just getting ready and all yeah okay. from both side you can get out uh, yeah. in this bed which is also yeah. a novelty in today's <laughs> bedroom from mumbai where you can get out from only one side given oh. how small they are these are cupboards yeah. 
So like 90% of the wardrobe is of course mine. He gets only 10%. Yeah. That's, That's, That's the only part that he gets. Which which part is yours? Just the both of. Yeah, this the whole of the other okay. and the this other part, side. Oh, that's also yours. That's mine. <laughs> so how uh, uh, how soon do you think these two will also become one for him? <laughs> Pretty soon, I feel. <laughs> uh, you mentioned rent of thirty-four thousand. Uh, uh, was that value for money? You thought, according to you? Yes, because uh, once you go out in the market to search for apartments and you know come to know the reality that you are not going to find anything in our budget was first thirty k. But once you know the reality that you are not going to find anything, you have. I made peace with it. I was okay to shell out three, four k extra. That is how I lived for the past two years as well. So I had flatmates. I needed my own room. So I am a single child. I never shared room with anyone. So I couldn't handle, uh, you know, thinking sharing a room with a stranger. Like I have not shared it with any sibling. How will I share it with a stranger? So I have always wanted my own room. So even in the flats that I have lived, I had my own room. So I was paying around like 17 or 18 k, which is like if we divide now, it's approximately the same. It's like 17. So doesn't make a difference to me as such. As a, as a couple, you all share all your expenses. That's how it goes. Or you all have certain buckets set. She's. Um, spend on this, you spend on that. Okay. Utilities and all we split. Uh, dinner dates are on me, <laughs> and uh, if you are ordering in, we It's do it me. like yeah. once on her, once on me, and so on. Yeah. What's the system for cafes and neighborhood uh, eateries over here? Convenient, inconvenient. Um, It's convenient for me because I the one thing that I like here is even the street food is vegetarian. So and I am a vegetarian, and I generally do not trust when there is non-veg also in the street food when they make. So I don't trust what things they would be using to make that. For him, it's a challenge because he's a non-vegetarian. Yeah. So. So how do you guys manage on dates when you all go? You, you, she orders veg, you order non-veg. No, 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 of no. course we order veg. <laughs> so he compromises. He com he has yeah. to compromise. When we are with a big choice. group and all, and I have com other company to eat non-veg with, I eat with them. Okay, this will be the second bathroom. Uh, yeah. This is the attached washroom with a sliding door to yeah, save so some to space. Yeah, so to save some space. Welcome. What are the weaknesses about living here? You said many good things. Kya hai khamia? Um. So uh, in summers we actually experienced water shortage. Uh, I don't know if that's the building issue or the area. Probably it's the area because we saw the news also around in Goregao Malad. So BMC water supply not there for another 24 hours or say 8 hours or it will only come like 8 a.m. in the morning, 6 a.m. in the morning. So that was a uh, issue. But yeah. recently it has not been there. So probably it was a summer thing. Uh, with but this I never experienced in my other apartments before. So that was one thing. And the other thing is very uh, different and small, which we never pay attention to while checking the flats. It's actually the charging slots. So in the whole apartment, there are only like three charging slots. I couldn't believe it. You know, like one over here, one in the kitchen, and one in the hall. That's it. So we had to bring these uh, the extension boxes for using our chargers or laptop charging or anything. Even for the TV, if you see in the hall, there is one extension box for the TV and Geo to work together. Okay. So it's like that was a really strange thing. Okay. Yeah, and apart from that, since it's a one BHK, some storage space issue, which is like girls need a lot of space. <laughs> yeah, clearly, <laughs> had, yeah, but clearly she has a lot of space. And I have more, but I don't have the space to keep stuff. Okay. Yeah. What next for you guys? Uh, be in Mumbai, be on rent. Uh, what's the plan like? Um, maybe couple of years in more in Mumbai, two to three years I would say, ballpark, and then move back home, search for an opportunity in Pune, and move back with parents. No. Okay. You're on the same page there. Mm, not so much, but yeah, <laughs> let's see. So until two, three years, I hear him. We are here. We are doing, and then we'll see how it goes. Okay. So basically, she, she <laughs> so basically, so for the moment, she won't debate you on that. After yeah. three years, she'll tell It's you. It's like yeah. a problem for three years later. Yeah. <laughs> okay. On that note, uh, Pawan uh, Nikita, thank you for coming on the tenant uh, from Pune to Mumbai, uh, working together and living together. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Time for the report card. This is a one BHK apartment in a modern but simple building location. This is a residential area. It's uh, it's close to uh, major economic hubs in terms of uh, Goregaon as well as Andheri. 
connectivity probably its strongest point very close to the western express highway as well as to the metro station as well as railway station all in all if you're a person that wants to be in a residential hub but overall in a largely commercial setup uh, this is a sort of location and project that can be considered are you looking for the perfect home stop looking around scan the qr code and explore from thousands of rental properties read resident reviews and make an informed decision with 99acres.com